guys, it's Megan. So we're in my bathroom today and I thought I would show you my new setup for my nighttime and morning skincare. Um, we got this new like shelf thing at Ikea a few weekends ago and my dad actually found it and was like, do you want this in your bathroom? And I was like, uh, yeah, that's awesome. So I'm really, really excited about it and we put it up this week and I organized all my stuff and I posted a picture on Instagram and said that I would go over it with you guys in a video. So here we are. So I'm going to turn you around and show you all the goodness. So this is, this is like my side of the sink. And then I've always had this like towel bar thingy. And I would put all my stuff on this white thing, but it's so old. We've had it like ever since we moved into this house, which has been over 10 years. And I never used it a lot before, but now that I really got into skincare, sorry, it's so hot in here. I'm going to open this window. Um, doesn't help that I'm wearing like a sweater and it's like 60 degrees, but, um, so it's kind of dingy and stuff. So I was so excited when my dad said, do you want to get a new thing? And I was just so excited. So, um, it's pretty much amazing. Like I am so happy to have more space. There is like a, another one at the top, but it's way too tall to have anything like practical up there. So I'm just using the bottom two shelves. So um, I'll go over it starting over here and then moving my way over and then the top. So this part, and I like that there's like an opening here so I can like reach to stuff easily. Um, so it's pretty much set up more or less the same way that I had before with my stuff that I use like in the morning and regularly here, my cleansers, and then moving on to the other steps. So I've been using the Rodeal Stem Cell Superfood Cleanser a lot recently. Um, I've had it for several months. It's even collecting dust and um, I have been using so many other cleansers in the morning, but now that they're all used up, I'm focusing on this one. And I love this for really moisturizing your skin and having it feel really, really nourished. And um, yeah, so I love that. I've also been trying to use up my Tatcha um, Gentle Rice Enzyme Powder. And as you can see, it's probably like a third of it is left. And I like this. I thought that I really, really loved it at first, but it gives my skin that squeaky clean kind of feeling, and I've really grown to hate that feeling. So I've been using it probably like once a day just to try to get through it because I don't love it that much. So these are the two cleansers that I have been actively working on. For my eye makeup remover, I just use the CVS um, oil-free one. That's like a giant container. It's double the size as the other like Neutrogena ones, and it's even cheaper, and it does the trick, so I love that. Then um, up here, I keep like samples that I either want to remind myself to use or that I'm just currently working on. Like I have this Shiseido Benefiance eye wrinkle, like eye cream and my friend Kristen, Kristen Papulus, you guys all know her, she sent me a really sweet little package of samples so you'll be seeing more of those and even this one she sent me and I'm so excited about this. This is the Clay de Peau La Creme and it's like three individual packets that is going to be so exciting to try. There was like a whole like booklet with it saying how it was like the best skincare technology like it was so funny. Then, I only have one use left of my Pi Rosehead by Regenerate Oil. I've actually been using this on, like, my chest and shoulders just to use it up because I have so many other things that I like better for my face. So, this one is almost gone. Then I have this little acrylic thing. Um, I think I got this at Marshall's, and it just has three separate sections, if you guys can see. So in the first section, I keep my um, cleansers, and I'm going on a weekend trip any moment now, so um, some of my stuff isn't in here like it normally would be. I usually have um, my, what is it called? Boshia Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. I've been using that a lot lately, so that has been in there. But I have my um, Frissy Beauty Skin Rescue Deep Cleanser with Red Clay, which I love. And then the other cleansing oil that I've been using lately is the Sephora Supreme Cleansing Oil. As you can see, I haven't really used it a lot. Um, but that's the next one that I'm trying out, pretty much. 
Then in my next section, I have treatments, oils, and that kind of thing. So I've been using my Tarte Maracuja oil, which is really nice. I am so excited that I got it for the $25 price that Ulta was having it for. I don't love it as much as the fresh um, sea berry moisturizing face oil, but it's really nice. Then I have my Polish Choice Resist BHA 9, which is an awesome, like, really hardcore, if you have any, like, imperfections or stubborn imperfections, like when I had that Milia bump, I used this on it, and it really just helps loosen it and get it out of your skin. And then, you guys know my all-time favorite oil is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. This is, like, the biggest size that they have. It's amazing. And I usually do have the Tata Harper um, Replenishing Nutrient Complex in here, but I'm taking that on my trip because it's small. Okay, then in my last section, I kind of have random stuff. This is the Polish Choice Resist Advanced Replenishing Toner, and this is like a moisturizing toner. Then I have been using the Polish Choice Resist Anti-Aging Eye Cream. This is a new eye cream that they just brought out. I love the packaging of it. I'm not so sure if it's that hydrating though. Like I like when things kind of feel like really emollient and almost a little bit greasy under my eyes to make it feel really hydrated. Then I have this sample, um, the exfoliate, just because it didn't fit with my other samples. So that has been sitting in here. And then my Bliss Triple Oxygen Instant Energizing Mask, which is a really weird product. It like supposedly foams up on your face but I can't sit still like I am constantly like doing stuff I realize like moving around and like just being more or less like spastic so um I never see the foam really work because I'm never just like laying there or anything so I want to try that out a little bit more to see if it actually like is interesting but yeah it doesn't really work for me because I move too much then here in between these two containers, I have my toner pads. So my absolute favorite ones are the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. I'm almost out of these, but I have another container, so don't worry. <laughs> these are my absolute favorite for morning or just a really like light tone if I don't want to use anything too intense at night. Um, I love these. And I store them upside down, so then they're all the top one is always the most saturated. Then I've been trying out these Radical Skincare Age Defying Exfoliating Pads. It's a similar idea to the First Aid Beauty, but they're a little more intense with the ingredients. And I got this like little like package of them at Saks. These were like 20 bucks or something to try them out. And they're a really expensive skincare brand. So those have been fun to try out. Um, definitely a little more intense than the First Aid Beauty ones. Then this is the other new thing that I set up with my new shelf is a place to have all of my samples easily accessible. So um, this little container is by Bino Bino. Um, I'm not sure if I got this at Marshalls or at Target. Both places sell this brand and it just has a lot of different like compartments, a lot of different sizes. I used to have this on my makeup, like my vanity. But um, then I did a new setup, which I'll show you guys as well. So um, I have like cleansers. I have this um, Glam Glow cleanser. I have some moisturizers in here. Um, treatments back here. Um, more treatments. In this one, I have more deluxe size samples. I have this Caudalie oil that Kristen sent me. The Amore Pacific Treatment Enzyme Peel that I really want to try. And the Sunday Riley Good Jeans Treatment. Um, I have all of my masks back in this one. So I have like Glam Glow. I have a um, Sicily Mask. Cody, The Zaja ones that I still have left. Then I have more masks here. Todd Harper Fresh. Uh, Polish Choice Cleanser, and then I have a deluxe sample of the Glam Glow, just the normal one. So this I think is going to work out a lot better for me to be able to just like reach for a sample and just get it um, when I want to try something new or when I need 
like a backup if I don't have a backup for some reason. Um, so this, I'm really, really excited about this new setup. Then moving on to the second shelf, this has my masks, moisturizers, and hair stuff. So over here I have my masks. I have these Lululoon masks um, that I got in California at that Japanese shop. And then behind it, I have the little cheat sheet that Anna gave me for the Zaja masks. Um, if you would stay, please. Um, then I have my Tata Harper mask. This one is almost gone. I have one use of this um, resurfacing mask. And then I'm going to move on to the limited edition Honey Blossom mask, which I use once and I love it. So these are amazing. This is the mask that I use when I really want to detoxify my skin. This is the Bliss Multifaceted. I love this so much. This is my favorite um, clay mask that I tried. I like this a lot better than Glam Glow, and it smells like peppermint, which I love. These are the two moisturizing masks that I have right now, the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud and the Tata Harper Moisturizing Mask, and I'm almost done with both of those. I like the Glam Glow, but I don't love the Tata Harper. Then I have my two full-size moisturizers that I've been using. The Sebamed Moisturizing Face Cream, which oddly enough smells like bell peppers to me. And then the Ole Hen Henriksen Pure Perfection. And this one has glycolic and lactic acid. I bought this at Marshall's a few months ago. And that one smells like sunscreen. It's really weird. Um, but I like both of them pretty well. And then here I have these um, Alba Botanica Cleansing Towelettes. These smell amazing. They're the pineapple enzyme but if I like walk after work or like in the morning or something and I just want to like wipe my face down because I'm sweaty I use these or if I just want to quickly remove my makeup at night and I don't want to do like an oil like removal step I'll use these and they're okay and my last two products are hair things my no dry, dry shampoo from Lush which is a must-have staple for me and this is the like big size this is the 4.6 fluid ounce I used to get like the small size but I love it so much that I decided to get the big size this time and then this is the Broegio Broegio um, Rosarco <laughs> milk it's like a leave-in conditioner I'm not sure if this has broken me out though sorry my hands are so shaky um, so I need to test that out a little bit more, but I love the way that that smells. So that is everything on my new skincare shelf. I am in love with it. I feel like I can see everything so much better and, um, I'm just super, super excited about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing everything on my shelf and getting like mini reviews. A lot of these things you've seen like a billion times before. Um, but I hope that you enjoyed this and I'll definitely show you guys my new makeup like acrylic drawer setup thing after I use it for a little bit longer because um, I don't know I need to test it out a little more but I know that I love this. So I will see you guys really soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!